Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ano 1800. I'm Midamite, mean, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna try to build ourselves beautiful cities. And by that, I mean that I'm gonna basically focus today on building something because the previous episode was mostly about. Previous episodes uh, were mostly about battle. Uh, right now, the only, let's say, threat is uh, the anarchist he's currently sending all of his fleet into Cape Telani. I don't know what he's trying to do over here, but okay, whatever, I don't really give a two shits about him. He can stay around, I don't I don't really care about him. So, as you all know, I was building this thing, right, for some time right now. Uh, if you don't know, this is my new, well, soon to be new capital in uh, Crown Falls. I'm actually trying to get the 50,000 investors over here so i also started to build those investor blocks so i got a one block over here another block here uh, third block here it. fourth block here fifth block over here and then i got a few uh investors here and there right but the thing is that i'm not exactly sure how i want to develop this thing so i am learning on the original old world map and trying to figure out some good combinations of buildings that later on i would love to implement into this thing now the video is actually focused as i said on the beautiful cities uh the thing is when i build cities like this i try to combine two things because i want to have both efficiency and then again i want to have some type of a visual right i don't want those cities to look too too boring i want to actually have something nice over here so the main concept of this city the main uh let's say goal of the city is to have fifty thousand investors and have all the necessary infrastructure for them to keep them in those buildings okay i want to make this thing later on really really beautiful but this is all work in progress so i've started to play oh shit what the heck has happened over here <laughs> okay uh right that was not planet. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't plan that thing. So I've started to build this island, right? Uh, sometime later after I have built Crown Falls. So the purpose of this island was to basically start experimenting with the structures, start experimenting with building uh, the cities, but also I wanted to try to copy the entrance of uh of bright sands from the campaign if you have played the campaign with bright sands then you're probably recognizing this thing a little bit right it's it's a bit modified version of the bright sands uh harbor but you probably should see a few similarities here and there so i've tried to build something like this and i've tried to combine both the city and the factory area and i was kind of happy with this idea for the very beginning so if you want to copy this thing uh, feel free to pause the video, make yourself a screenshot or something like that and copy those things onto your hard drive so you can try to maybe rebuild this thing in your own spare time as well. Now, as I said, I wanted to have efficiency and a bit of a look. Now, this is supposed to be obviously an industrial area, right? So there's almost no trees. I want to probably fix this thing later on. Uh, worker houses, stuff like that. But also, I got a little power plant over here that supplies those facilities with power which is necessary uh because this island purpose is to support the crown fall capital the thing when it comes to building ignore this thing for now right unless you really want to you can i don't know try to get some inspiration from this thing but to be honest with you this is area that will be destroyed anyway the thing when it comes to Ano games is is that you should not be afraid of experimenting you should not be afraid of combining some weird things that you would think that normally should not go obviously this is quite well stupid right because i got a power plant over here uh you can really tell that it's different from the from the background it's really different from the base uh but why i do this thing is because i need to supply the warfare with power oh, now as you all know if you're gonna try to connect this thing by normal means to road, something like this will happen. And I'm a big enemy of this. I really don't like when something like this happens in my city. So I try to uh, limit the power plants, but also I need to build them in such a way that they'll be able to work for me, right? So obviously this power plant at the moment is supplying only the uh, warfare. I got a warehouse over here, which is also supplying on it. But then again, I could try to build a warehouse, let's say, somewhere in the middle of the city, right? Because uh, it has this nice looks. So building it, let's say, in the middle of a engineer's district would be completely fine. They, they would just look like a like a bigger, bigger building of some sorts. 
So for example, don't be scared to use wide rolls as I have over here. Don't be scared to uh, show that this is an important university, you know, give him some guarding space. Don't be afraid to build yourself uh, a town hall and in front of it build it a theater and surround it with some trees and some fountains. Don't be afraid to make the roads a bit wider. Don't be afraid to use the plazas. Don't be afraid to combine things that normally you would never combine, such as, let's say, uh, trees over here along with this members club and a little bit of a powering in the in front of it right you're supposed to experiment you're supposed to have fun because to be honest with you uh, you may actually post let's say your cities into the internet and ask people what they think but the thing is that in the end it's gonna be you who's gonna be watching on the city all the time so you should be the person who should be enjoying this city the most, right? So for example, uh, I've built like two markets over here. Obviously the investors don't need the markets, right? They don't need this thing. This is completely beyond them right now at this point. But I built them because I wanted to build it. I wanted to have like a little market, town square, whatever thing in front of my botanical garden. Why? Because I can. And I think this looks actually really cool. Then we have the trees, the gardens, uh, more trees, defenses, stuff like that, you know? So it's all up to you. As long as you're gonna enjoy it, then you're gonna have a blast playing this game. I, I think and I highly believe in that thing. So yeah, uh, this is not the thing I'm gonna be focused on today because I want to show you what I have built in the old world. Now, as you all know, I've started on this island here, right? Uh, I basically had to stop most of the production and I moved my ass to a new island. I move it over here. Now here I started to experiment with the cards in the trade unions, I started to experiment with layouts and stuff like that, and I came up with this city for now, and I'm really happy with this one. I'm actually are very happy. The only thing I really don't like in this island is the hardware area, because it's really bloody as small. I mean, I could try to maybe move here, because this hardware area over here is really huge, and then you have another huge area over there, but then again, I think this island is a lot smaller than the one I'm currently building on. Like, right? in my opinion, I think this island is really, really huge. It actually is pretty huge. So, the thing is what I'm trying to do right now, because I'm at this point in the game where I have so much resources, then I'm more focused on the actual looks and trying to build something cool than actually uh, going for efficiency. Because, if you know, um, I got, for example, a lot of interesting characters in my trade unions. Uh, characters that give me so much productivity that instead of building, let's say, 20 farms or 24 farms, I just have to build maybe 12, maybe 14. I'm actually adding smaller farms on the edges just to make this thing look more interesting. This is completely ineffective, but I wanted to combine both the farms and the farmers' houses next to each other. I wanted to build windmills in in the middle of the field, and I'm constantly getting even more and more uh, elite citizens because of the dogs I have in Crown Falls and the one over here. Oh, speaking of the devil, another legendary character added to the warehouse, because why the heck no? So allow me to show you first through this city over here, what I have created. Uh, the only thing that I got actually two trade unions over here, no, three trade unions over here, and they are responsible for making the resources, and I kind of hope I'll be able to supply with those factories around three islands. Three islands, one, two, three, four, four islands. So we're gonna be try to probably try to build uh, further the fourth island through the next few episodes. I don't know exactly how that thing is gonna go. So I got some characters over here. This is basically uh, a factory area over here. If you really want to, you can note down what type of experts I have here. They are really useful and truly rare. And then you have some cloth production over here. Yes, I'm making the workers clothing and the full clothing. And I'm getting a lot of other bonuses because of those characters over here. So, this is what I was trying to create. I got myself the investor squads, uh, I mean blocks over here. Because, well, obvious reasons. And then I was trying to make something like this. I've tried to combine both the houses and the factories. And I had a clay pit over here. So I, I had to combine this thing somehow with the surrounding buildings of houses, right? So I'm actually really happy with this thing because in my opinion, this looks really natural. Then you have the university over here, the bank, uh, the power cables. There's only one street over here, so this looks quite cool. And then you have a factory over here with the main entrance going to the road like this. Uh, it's completely surrounded, so you can still access the factory from this side if you really want to. 
Then you have some engineering, uh, some engineers squares and stuff like that. For example, this is a good idea that you can actually try to use. So this is a housing block. It's made out of three on three squares, right? And in the middle of it, because if you see, and you're gonna go to the engineers uh, building section. Uh, no, wait, hold a second. I think that was the artistans. Yeah, those are the artistans. Uh, if you're gonna go here, you're gonna see those two items over here, right? So you can try to combine this thing and create like a little plaza or whatever thing in the middle of this housing square. Or you can just build yourself a gigantic fountain. Now, the thing is, if you're gonna zoom in really close, you actually, actually can see the difference uh, between the tiles underneath the engineer's building and the tiles That's I use for this little square thingy here, right? But if you're gonna zoom out, you can barely tell the difference. I'm actually lowering the quality of uh, the visuals to high instead of to ultra or epic or whatever thing. I had to lower it by one level uh, because the game was not able to keep up. But I think uh, Ubisoft recently patched the game and now it's working a lot better. So this is basically how I create those things around here. I just get this thing, get some of those, make a statue in the middle like this and just zoom out. And you can barely tell that this is a different tile set right the thing is when i build those things is that i try to look at the roofs and based on the roofs i try to combine those things back in the previous annals it was a uh, a lot different because you know you had for example uh, the skyscrapers and let's say you've played in anno 2017 and you had uh like the eco houses those really small ones and if you build a really small one eco house and next to it you build the skyscraper of the tycoons it didn't look that good but then again you could easily combine the buildings of the uh i forgot the name of that fraction the scientist fraction and then That's let's say the I'm eco saying. fraction that was actually really easy to do so yeah i got a power plant over here obviously this is completely not fitting over here but i wanted to keep those guys happy and provide them with electricity and see exactly how much benefit i'm gonna gain from that thing this is like an experimental thingy then i have some factories over here obviously those factories are built next to the housing district over here i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna build here and then you have something similar from bright science as well over here so you literally have a harbor area a heavy factory area and then you have the worker houses next to it now it may actually look a little bit bad but then again the roofs go quite along uh well over here oh something exploded over here what the heck is wrong with this city everything is exploding so when it comes to building i've just tried to take a look at the at the roofs and based on the roofs i've tried to combine those things together completely ignore that i have built a school and i've built a dynamite factory next to it you know <laughs> I mean, those tra those children are gonna have a, a very, very explosive <laughs> childhood. <laughs> that's that's how the character of Neo Dynamite was created, ladies and gentlemen. He went, he attended to elementary school next to a dynamite factory. It's fucking canon, right? That that's a canon story right now over there. So that's more or less how I build this thing. Now I've tried to because you know i had the trade union things and i had some really good characters so i've tried to combine some of the farming communities over here with the with the simple farms right so i've tried to create something like this can't really say this is good yet i'm trying to figure out maybe something better obviously i'm building uh sheep farms next to farming houses because as i said this is the moment where i don't have to worry about the efficiency i can just build as many as i want this is the only thing that actually uh is an actual production block because I have uh, a great need for pigs. So I got a bunch of them along with some really epic characters over here that will allow me to uh, maximize the production because, well, as I said, I've tried to supply four different islands with one island. And I think I'm really happy about here on this island is this thing over here because there's a trade union here and this trade union works uh, with the bakeries, right? So it provides bonuses only for the bakeries. And then I tried to build the bakeries in the middle of the artisans district. And I think this looks actually really cool. Obviously, there are a few bakeries around because I had to squeeze them somehow within the circle. But I think this actually works really, really well. I just have to ignore that the base of the building is dirt and then you have cobblestone roads around it. But then again, if you're gonna zoom far, uh, far enough, 
then you actually is gonna be really hard for you to tell the difference between the roofs of the artisan houses better. and the roofs of the bakery itself, right? I can also try to maybe upgrade those guys over here and get a few more artisans. I probably will have to build also a school uh, somewhere on this side because they are not gonna get any support from the school about that thing, I'm quite certain. Also, I've noticed that you can build the university and surround it from one side with houses and this is gonna make a perfect block. So you can try to, for example, to build something like this, like an important building, not exactly a university, but, you know, use your imagination. Maybe this is some other important building, maybe some type of a uh, explorer's league, or maybe, you know, secret gentleman's club, or maybe a secret Pythorian guild, whatever thing, right? So remember, you're supposed to have fun. Not some random build on the internet. As long as you're gonna enjoy your city, then you're gonna have a blast in a game like this. Obviously, you can take inspiration. Now, this is a work in progress, so just ignore this one. And today, what I want to do is... I don't know how is that happening. Today, what I want to focus on is actually rebuilding a little tiny bit my old capital. Uh, because, as you know, this is the island I've started on. And I've started to move some of the things over here. So, I've moved the investors. I've moved some of the engineers and I think today I'm actually gonna try to move more of them as well. I'm actually thinking to build one more hospital over there, I think. Is that actually a good idea? Probably is a terrible idea, but I'm gonna build it anyway because we need to have hospitals. I really don't want to have a plague over here. This is another interesting fact when it comes to building hospitals because I want you to notice one thing. As you see, the Work hospital over sure. here, technically speaking, have two entrances, right? It has the front entrance. And then you have this thing over here. Now, I'm assuming this is where the people go in. I, I, I don't know. Maybe this is maybe this is actually the main entrance. This is the side entrance, the back entrance. It's hard to say. But I would like to assume that this is actually the front. And this is actually the back of the building. So, those two things are side entrances, right? Side alleys or whatever thing. So, when it comes to building something like this... And it, when it comes to looking, right? Because if you want to have the visuals, but I, this is what I do. I try to build the hospital so that the front and the back has access to a, uh, to a normal road. And then both sides, the side entrances, can be, let's say, surrounded by, by houses or something like that. Or by other factories, you know. But what should be clean is the front and the back. That's what I most of the time aim when it comes to, for example, building a hospital. And just wreck it something you wanted to build anyway. God damn it. Another thing, remember to turn on the blueprint mode, you know? You really want this thing. This is actually really bloody helpful. Just remember to turn it off if you be putting out gardens and stuff like that. Because it's later on really annoying to build them all with the upgrade tool. It's just better to build the trees right away. And something like this. Now, another thing that people, I think, are ignoring is the gardens themselves. Now, I do gardens, obviously, parks, whatever thing. I ch I, this is exactly not the best of, of, of the examples what I do. But if you want to build something like this, right, then I stick to a few principles. What I do is I've planned the things that I need to know that are built, let's say, manually, that they are like a specific thing and they need to be in a specific location. So let's say you're building a... Uh, let's say you are building a... I don't think I have anything over here to actually give you an example of... Hmm... Okay, maybe let's actually go back to the square over here that I have in the, uh, within the buildings, right? So, you have this thing. And what I want to have it's some like a like a uh, landmark in the middle of this thing. So this example is a statue, right? So this is a landmark. It's always gonna be in the middle. It's gonna be showing you like this. This place is a park. This place is a square. You know, look at me. I am the most important part of the square, right? This is what the statue is supposed to tell you. And then I surround it with some random stuff. I could because I've built it in a specific pattern. But let's say that I don't want this pattern. Maybe I want to have something different. Maybe I want to have something like this. That's fine. You can do something like this as well. The thing when I come... Uh, the thing I do when it comes to building is that I first build the, let's say, landmark. So it's a fountain, a statue, an important tree or something like that. And then I just go completely balls and I surround it with, with some random shit. And I just spam it like a crazy man, okay? So just remember to use the trees from the farmers 
and from the workers because they actually have trees unlike the other fractions they don't have those things i don't know why apparently uh, the artists and engineers and the investors don't need trees bollocks and this is a perfect example as i was saying about the hospital right so if i'm gonna build the hospital over here right so we have the let's say the front and then you have the back and then you have the side entrances that nobody really cares about but the back and the front of the hospital has like a clean entrance by a road or whatever thing connection uh okay so those houses need to be built but i think i'm gonna move my ah i still have some engineering houses over there so i'm gonna move some of them there now another thing is that as i said i want to build cities that both look but also provide and that's a bit harder because for example when it comes to buildings housing residences right as you all know in this game the housing residences require both physical goods so let's say the investors require glasses they require uh champagne they require cigars chocolate the steam carriages stuff like that but they also require services right so in this particular example let's put the bank and the members club so you need to know that each class in this game uh it's using the service building from the previous class. So what I mean is that, for example, the investors, I'm gonna start from the investors because I think this is the easiest one. The investors have his own service building, which is the members club, right? But then again, he requires a bank from the engineers as well. Then when it comes to engineers, they require the bank and they also are gonna require a university. And your university is coming from the previous class, from the artistans, right? Same goes for the artistans. The artistans gonna require a university, and they also gonna require uh, a theater. Oh, actually, engineers also I think need a theater. Yeah, they also need a theater. So engineers need both the university and the theater. The artistans need university, the theater, and also they require from the workers a church. Oh shit! They require a church, and they also require a school, right? Then you have the workers who require a school, they require a church, and then from the previous class, they require a pub. And then, of course, we have the farmers who just require the pub because they are the easiest class to, uh, to let's say, make happy because they have the most simplest of needs. So that's more or less how it works. Now, the other thing I need to focus on, because as I said, I wanted to stress uh, the factories on my main island at the moment because I got so much resources here and the factories are basically not working so I need to balance the output and input I've got a lot of input but no output see for example I got uh, 500 champagne even though I am exporting champagne over this uh, to this island I'm not producing that thing here but then again I haven't built all of the investors right i want to have one investor block over here and then i want to have another insta investor block over here uh okay good good rescue mission and that's actually it okay fuck off nothing interesting from you right so as i was saying let's keep moving the How thrilling. oh seriously arrived. again okay show me what you have come on give me an epic legendary person nice botanical director i think i have him already Let's see, botanical director. Yeah, I got a lot of legendary items, I know. Where is he? The botanical director. There he is. All new world crops. New world. Seriously, I got already three of you. Uh, how about you're gonna send me somebody who can work on the old world crops? That's actually a bit more... <laughs> a bit more important for me at the moment. <laughs> but then again, I need to fix my coffee production back in the old world. It's... Uh, in the new world, I mean, it's it's not working as intended. Oh, another thing I can show you is that sometimes when you move houses, you obviously notice that if you're gonna put a house in a corner, then he's gonna transform. If you're gonna upgrade it, he's gonna transform into this, like into this turn, whatever you're gonna call this thing. Now you can do this thing manually if you want to. And how do you do this? Okay, I'm gonna grab myself a house. Now this house was obviously supposed to be built over here right oh shit uh how about no how about no 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 screw you it's mine my island bye bye all right so as i was saying 
what you need to do is you grab the relocate tool, you grab it, you pressed and hold the shift button, and then you pressed V, like V for Vendetta, whatever, whatever you're gonna call it. So you press those button, and you can actually change the model of the building. And you can actually find yourself the ones that go to the corner as well. So if you're gonna keep pressing this thing, eventually, ah, there you go. You're gonna find the building that goes into the corner like this. And you can do this with all of the houses. But then again, keep in mind that I think only the engineers and the investors have the houses that actually have this nice, let's say, turn thingy. The artisans, the workers, and the peasants don't have something like that. I don't know why. They just don't. It's like, okay, whatever game. And I finish the road, obviously. I wanna, I wanna make something fancy over here. I want to make like this double... Well, not exactly double layered road, but I want to make a road, a garden tree in the middle, and then I want to make another road. And obviously, those spots over here will be spots where I'm gonna be building mostly statues. Just remember that there are two types of statues. You have the statue that has base, base with grass, and then you have another statue over here that has base with those little tiles over here. So he fits actually, I think, a little bit better over here. Uh, okay. In my opinion, I think this thing fits a bit better. I obviously started to build an university over here because the engineers are uh, gonna require a university. Huh, I got mines over here as well. Right, I'm gonna keep this warehouse a bit to the side first. Let's see how we can actually do this thing. Okay, I don't think the university would be able to... Yeah, this is the range of the university, so I have to probably be built another university over there. But we should be fine... If I'm gonna make a gigantic road in the middle of this thing here. So, as we have learned from Cape, Talani, and Crownfall, three, four, five. Okay, no, no, no. I think this was actually six. Is it actually accurate? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's six tiles. Like this. To make it go aligned with this thing over here. So, if that thing is six. I can make two and two, or I could try to make four, or I could try to make two in the middle. So let's maybe try to stick to two. So this thing goes here, and you go something like this. And you make a gigantic road that's gonna be the main plaza. There you go, beautiful. The biggest problem over here is this mine. Obviously, you cannot move the mine to the side, but I really would like to, well, get the resources from it. So yeah, and I want to build myself a theater over here as well, because it's gonna try to cover uh, those buildings over here and probably some more buildings over here that are gonna belong to the engineer class. Instead, I could try to maybe build, let's say, the artistans over here as well. I got a bunch of artistans I could try to place there. And I don't think they would mind if I'm gonna place a mine next to them. <laughs> See what I did over there? So yeah, for example, we could try to roll like that thing. Uh, okay, the university will be standing here. Hmm... How exactly could try to do that thing? Maybe I can try to do something like this. And then just keep it going like this. And then we could try to make more engineer houses over there. So it's all about the movement right now. It's all about the moving the buildings and trying to make something cool. Now I want to surround that thing with a road. Because it's going next, next to the coastline. And I don't know why, but always when I build buildings like this. And I build them next to the coast, like this, how about no, when I build them next to a coast like this, it just looks for me so stupid if you have something like this, without having a road. I, I, for me this feels a lot better, I don't know why, it just does. Or I could try to do something like this, let's say over here, that I have just built. So, because I've manually changed the look of this building, it feels like this is just an extension, right? That this is the actual block over here, even though it has to cross the, the street over here. Uh, I wanted to create, let's say, something that will look something like a block already. Okay, I can now then destroy this road over here. We can try to make a statue in the middle of it. Something like this. Okay, then remember to surround this block with roads as well. Okay, and obviously finish the roads on this side over here. So we're gonna create more or less something like this. You can all go a bit crazy even and try to create something like this. And add a statue in the middle of it. 
because why the heck no? Who's gonna stop you? And another legendary person? Nope. Of course not. So for example, you got something like this over here. And what you can do with this thing? You can try to fill it with trees or you can try to just fill it with those things, as I was saying before. See? And if you're gonna zoom out, can you really tell the difference? Yeah, sure, you can tell the difference because of this thing over here. But if you're gonna look like this, can you tell the difference? No, you can't, obviously. Right, so we got an university over here that I would love to change. Okay, I need to have defenses, but I want to have defenses with the... Hmm... This is an important thing, because there are two types of fences. One fence have grass underneath it, and the other fence have tiles underneath it. I think I'm gonna go with the fence that has grass. Because it's gonna look better on the inside of this university. So obviously, you have to build something like this, because normal gates that you have in the set uh, won't work here. Like this one. This this won't work. You can make, obviously, a gate over here if you want to, but that's not gonna work as a, uh, ex extending the range of the university. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. And you just do something like this. I forgot to fix this thing. There we go. And the same goes over here. And then do something like this. And then you surround this thing with this. And you this. And you finish the fence. Okay. So now what I'm looking for is like something that I'm gonna set for sure. Right? So let's say, for example, I've prepared this thing here. For the... I don't know. Some type of a military hero. Whatever. So I'm just gonna place him there. And then let's see. What, else, what other things are that I want to have over here that are gonna be set. That I want to have precisely that thing. I can say, let's say, the statue. One over here. Then we can have another statue on this side. Like such. Okay, maybe build a fountain. Let's use the one from the unique set that I have from the club. For example, this one over here. Okay, maybe it's a bit too fancy for our university. This looks nice, but it has tiles. Right, this thing has tiles. It's happy I'll be outgoing to trade. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Hmm, where I could try to use this tile set? Not there. Here, for example? It's a bit too close to a road, to my liking. Huh, I have to think about that. But still, those things I want to be in that specific locations. And then we go a bit more crazy. So let's see, three over here and here. Just close your eyes. And start pressing random buttons and see how this thing is gonna look. If you don't like it, just destroy it! Like this. Okay, what else we could try to build? I think we can get some flowers over here as well. So let's put... Here, 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 here. It's a bit messed up, but, you know... It's supposed to be a garden! It's supposed to be a relaxing area for the students and for the professors and stuff like that. And to make things even more interesting, we can actually... Put those things in specific places like this see by mistake i've created a beautiful little shadow uh, area for the for the benches over there and then surround the remaining tiles i mean fill the remaining tiles with grass there we go and university place have been uh i mean garden park whatever thing have been built Easy mode. And so yesterday I have to build myself the investors block over here, but yeah, th this is basically how I do those stuff, right? So just combine stuff, uh, you need to know which buildings can work, uh, sorry, which residential buildings require what type of uh, service buildings and stuff like that. Uh, this this recording actually took me a lot longer than I have expected, to be honest with you. But yeah, th th this, this city still requires shitloads of work, and I'm still testing the... Uh, the possibilities of my factories, how much I can stress them out before my entire economy uh, is gonna collapse on its face. But yeah, it's for now it's progressing actually quite nice. I don't know. Let me guys, uh, let me know if you guys want to see exactly what type of uh, advisors I'm using. If you're wondering how I got them, some of them I got from the rescue missions, from the expeditions. Some of them came to me because of the attractiveness of my cities. Uh, I got a few of them through the mod that I have, I think, covered it in one of the previous episodes. Uh, so feel free to download the mod if you want to actually experiment with this thing and really go crazy with the possibilities that this game can offer in terms of, like, production and stuff like that. I, you'll be <laughs> nicely surprised 
how what you can actually achieve in this game. Like, wow, sometimes. Tremendous amount of wow. Uh, anything else? No, I don't think so. So the only thing remaining for me to do is actually... You know what, I'm thinking about... Uh, I think I'm gonna put the rest of those artistans guys over here. The epidemic and probably the rest of my engineers will be located somewhere over here. Like behind this thing. I'm probably gonna try to squeeze our university over here. Which is gonna go probably with this thing. And then I'm gonna probably try to put more investors over here. And definitely, definitely I want to build myself a power plant somewhere over here. Yeah, so, somewhere over here. Maybe actually a little bit in the back. I'm gonna have two. One over here and another one over here that's gonna supply hopefully soon to be the an industrial district if I actually will need any. For now, I'm just importing resources from the other islands. So it's actually progressing quite nicely. And I think I should... Yeah, there you go. I can now upgrade those guys. So you're gonna soon become the investors. And you're gonna bring me so much money. It's just... Wow. Tremendous amount of wow. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, for now I'm rumbling too much. So I think I'll just leave this thing as over here. Sorry if this video was completely not holding up together. But still, I hope you've managed to enjoy this thing. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more of this shit, <laughs> I'll gladly do a bit of a more recording of actually building this crap. So yeah, let me know uh, down in the comments section below. Because for now, I'll just leave this thing as over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please up a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.